Hello, welcome to this video of the Citroen Berlingo. This is the 1.6 HDI diesel. It's also Euro 6, it's 2018 registered and one owner. So this belonged to um, Sunderland County Council as one of their spare vans for very low mileage on an 18 reg. So let's get straight into the action with the condition. Let's start, let's start this rear panel. This rear panel, very clean. There was some um, stickers on there, some vinyl stickers, which said uh, Sunderland County Council, which obviously have been removed now. So there may be a very, very slight, maybe you'll have to see where the glue lines have been over the few, last few years. And that's all to re report on that. So that panel's immaculate. The plastics are immaculate as well. Obviously the condition, it does match the mileage as well. So there's nothing out of the ordinary, obviously maintained uh, regularly by the council and their uh, service departments. That wing mirror, no damage there at all. The wheels are steel wheels, all the tyres are like brand new. I've, I've taken 100 photos on our website advert. All the bumpers are nice and black. No scratches at all on the edges. All the headlights are clear, crystal clear. No stone chips. Obviously at this kind of mileage, 24, 24,000 miles, yeah. No stone chips. It's hardly been anywhere. Bonnet, obviously immaculate. Uh, the windscreen as well, so look at the windscreen, you can see it's immaculate, there's no stone chips or anything like that. But it's still got the uh, little card there, look, Sunderland City Council, little pass card, no smoking, the roof's nice and clean. That wing, immaculate. The wheel as well, like I say, all the tyres, all the treads, all nice. Even the wheel arches are all blacked out, look, they're all immaculate, there's no mud up there. Absolutely spotless. So AdBlue is there, AdBlue tank, and the diesel, of course, all nice and clean. All the lights are nice and clear, no cracks or chips. Very clean down here. Oh, it's very clean. And back to this panel. So that's the uh, outside cupboard. Open these back doors. Okay, you can see very clean, all very clean, uh, ply lined as well, and also got the rubber strip or cover, should we say, underneath. So it's all ply lined under there, like brand new, and it's still got the rubber mat there as well. It's a rubber mat, little 12 volt there, the power supply, lights. It's got the uh, half cage as well. And that door there, it's all nice and clean, as be expected. And across the bumper there as well, immaculate. And this uh, side door. So this has got the, uh, it's got 
that, I'm sure that, if I move that, it does something. I forgot what it does that now. I'm sure. Does that pull? Yes, it does, yep. Yeah. So, that pulls forward. And then if you put the seats down, you can put those seats down and you can get your ladders in there. So you can get your ladders in through there so you've got about 8 foot or 10 foot of space. 8 or 10 foot, I think it's about 10. I think to here it's about 10 foot. So you can get a 10 foot ladder. Let me just try and drop this seat so you can see it. Right. There we go. So, you can drop that one. You can drop this one as well by pulling this. So, there we go. So you can see, well, I've gone round the back, you can see you can get the uh, longer item through there. So that's what that's for. Let's push these back, pull this up first. There we go, pull that up there. Push that seat back. And pull this one back up. There we go. And obviously, that's metal or steel to resist. And down here, it's all nice and immaculate. I've never seen one that clean, to be fair. Absolutely nothing on the door shuts. All really clean and tidy. Uh, this, let's start here. This door. Same again, all immaculate, like brand new. Electric, electric windows, of course, the front of there. That's the electric switch there for the windows. Carpeted as well, that's very rare because most of these are the rubber floor mats. This is carpeted, so obviously a bit warmer in the winter and the sound is a bit better, not as noisy inside because it's got the carpet as well. The seats are immaculate for a van, should we say. Very clean, the dashboard, very clean, no scratches, no dirty foot, foot marks or boot marks there at all. Same on the speaker grills, etc. All immaculate door closes nicely and then let's go to the drivers all immaculate loads of door pockets there a little one there and a drinks holder there as well uh, all down the door shuts are nice and clean the foot pedals are immaculate so is the carpet and all down here as well totally unmarked all up here Driver's seat very clean. And the dash, right? Let's look under here. So, this van had one of these uh, company uh, tracker monitor things on there, which has been obviously removed. That's what the power is for. I think it was the, uh, the jobs or something like that. And then in here, you've got a cubby hole as well, storage. Uh, and then up here, you've got your radio, etc. Let me get the uh, let me get the key and start the engine. So all the lights come on. Wait for the glow plugs. There we go. All the lights go out. 24,405 miles. Uh, quarter of a tank of fuel, or just over a quarter of a tank of fuel. Uh, we've got the um, it's got an AUX input port as well, if you look there. AUX and USB, that's the USB and AUX, you can play your music. Charge your phone through that as well. Uh, and then you've got a normal radio uh, with the Bluetooth facility on that one. The menu, I'm sure there's a Bluetooth somewhere on that, yeah. Audio functions, uh, you see the mobile phone to the right, Bluetooth functions, etc. Uh, normal heating, uh, down here electric windows, another 12 volt. Is that a normal? That's a normal 12 volt. Uh, and then the central locking button there, the hazard warning switch, triangle switch, and the electric window for the driver's uh, door as well. Just put that window up there. So that works. And do the same for the drivers. So that works. Okay. Uh, and then we've got a five speed gear lever. Uh, a little cubby hole there for something. Two drinks holders down here. And then the handbrake, it's all clean down here. The handbrake is there. So a bit tight squeeze for the uh, occupant of that seat, obviously, as you know on most vans. But it has got three seats, so that's good to know. Um, what's up here? We've got up here, we've got some more storage up here. Some more storage up here. 
the sun visors are nice as well they're not floppy as many, most of the time for these I don't know why most of the time they go up as about as high as that and they just sit like that because something's wrong with the springs but not this one this one just goes all, all the way to the top actually right, so the windscreen's immaculate there's nothing on there at all uh, best feature as well here cruise control so that's an extra this has got the cruise control and it's also got the steering wheel stalk volume controls there okay the steering wheel is immaculate so everything lines up with the mileage uh, we've got the bucket here as well with all the documents here as well so we've got the uh, so we've got the log book here zero former keepers so owned by the um, the uh, lease hire company here we go venison automotive solutions that's the lease hire company that owned the uh, lease to all their vans and it was straight to Sunderland Council uh, we've got an MOT here which is valid until 19th of June 2025 it's not done the market it passed at 23,855 and has now done 24,405 so it's done 600 miles no yeah, 550, 550, 550 miles, sorry, 550 miles. Uh, these service intervals are every 16,000 miles. I think it's had three services, this vehicle, so far. Uh, and the cam belt, timing belt kit is every 112 or 10 years. The timing belt kit's not due until it reaches 112,000 or 10 years old, which obviously is not 10 years old yet, because it was registered 20th of the 6th, 2018. So it won't be um, 10 years old until 2028. So it's the Bilingo 625. I think that's something to do with the weight ratio it can carry. Uh, number LX is the model. Blue HDI means it's got add blue. So it's good for London and all major cities. It's a 1560cc turbo diesel engine, which is the same engine that's used in the Fords as well. So Ford, Peugeot uh, diesels, use these as well so this one use this engine is found in the Fords like the Ford Mondeo uh, 1.6 turbo diesels so it's a it's an engine that's used commonly across the range right what's this the uh, instruction booklets etc and we've got a service booklet here as well we've just serviced it in November let's have a look service booklet Where's the service? Ah, there we go. So, service there at 11,000 to 12,000, almost 12,000 miles, uh, and then serviced again at 18,7. And then, oh, look at that Porsche there. Wow, GT3. Right, so, and then we've just serviced it. Um, fourth of, oh, bonfire, is it bonfire? No, fifth. Fourth of the 11th. Uh, 24.4 we've just serviced it so it's new oil and filter uh, what else is there that's about it really um, I'll show you under the bonnet I'm going to switch the engine off show you under the bonnet let me just put the phone down so I can reach oh, I might be able to do it actually it's downhill oh gosh so just pull that that's the bonnet release what's in the glove box is anything in the glove box no it's not very big Got a small compartment there, the fuse board is down there, and it's just got like a document holder uh, compartment there, so it's not very big. Um, there's some more little storage there, like we said, that hidden cupboard there. Uh, this has also got traction control, believe it or not. That's traction control, and that is the electric wing mirrors, the headlight adjustment. Uh, that was something to do with the um, what do you call it, the subscription you can buy for this, what they had. It was like a, like, a, like a navigation system, but that's missing now, it's been gone, they took it off. And then, let me get my fingers under here. Right, fingers under here, let's have a look under here. So that's the turbo diesel engine. It's all clean down here, look. All nice and clean. Alarm siren there. And all up here, that's nice and clean as well. 
obviously HPI clear, one owner. So there's nothing, nothing about this vehicle that you can really knock at all. Right, it's the only thing I've seen, which I could probably, is this look. So down here, there was some vinyls down here, which I think it said www.sunderland county council. And whoever took the stickers off, has obviously just scratched the top layer of the lacquer off on that bit there. And that is it. All the rest of the vehicle is immaculate. There's absolutely nothing, nothing to, uh, yeah, absolutely nothing to report. Very good. Okay, if you like finance, we can do finance, we provide finance, we are FCA registered. If you've got a part exchange, please let us know the reg number and mileage and we'll give you a quotation based on the live auto trader valuation report. Uh, and we can arrange delivery as well, if need be. First 30 miles delivery free, the rest is £1.50 per mile thereafter. So first 30 miles away from where we are at S21, uh, free WY. Okay, hope you enjoyed the video and hope to see you soon. Thank you.